What's up everybody, Tony here with High Tech Check, and if you have an NVMe drive that you want to use on the go, but you want to keep it safe from the elements or maybe drops, you're definitely going to want to take a look at this enclosure. This is the Quiz Labs ES10UR. Now this enclosure fits NVMe drives that are 2280, 2260, 2242, and 2230 millimeter in length. It also fits the M key and B plus M keys. It's got USB 3.2, USB type C. It's got a 10 gigabit transfer rate. It also has an IP65 water and dust resistance and can withstand a 9.8 foot drop. Now I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products and do reviews for you guys. Now this is pretty much what you get inside the box. It does have some good weight to it. It's got a nice aluminum casing on the top and the bottom. As you can see, you can remove some of the screws here. It also has this really nice little keychain that also doubles as its connection port with the USB Type-C cable very nicely done so it's always with you you don't have to scramble around trying to find a cable to plug this in now you can use this with pc and mac we're going to be using it with my mac studio today using a thunderbolt 4 port so we're definitely going to get the fastest speeds we can from this device now it also has this little uh, port here for the usb type c keeps it nice and clean and clear of any water or anything else that might get into it now this also comes with some extra screws and it also comes with the included screwdriver so you can take out those screws on the back to install your NVMe drive. I really do love this rubber edge. It feels really good. It feels very solid. It kind of feels like you can probably take this and throw it against the wall and you won't have to worry about your NVMe drive getting damaged. Now the NVMe drive we're going to be using for this enclosure is the Western Digital Black SN 750. I know this says 850, but we have a 750 that we're gonna to use today, and it is a one terabyte. The transfer speeds that this NVMe drive can do are well above what this enclosure can do, so we're, again, we're definitely gonna get the fastest speeds we can possible. So here we have our NVMe drive. Like I said, it's the SN 750 one terabyte. So we'll go ahead and remove these little screws here. And there is the top plate itself. Again, uh, most of the weight comes from this. It does feel nice and sturdy and very solid. And then here on the inside, we have a pretty thick thermal pad that we can put on our NVMe drive. As you can see right there, look at how thick that thing is. And then here is a little closer look at our enclosure. As you can see how thick this rubbery type material is on the side, so it definitely protects your NVMe drive inside. I'll we'll go ahead and install our NVMe drive. Goes in just like that. Okay, then we'll take our little silver screw here. We'll go ahead and screw down the NVMe drive. It doesn't need to be super tight, just make sure that it's tightened up a little bit. Then we'll go ahead and put on our thermal pad. All right, and then we'll put our top back on. Just push it down in place, and then we'll put the screws back in. All right, now that all the screws are back in, we'll go ahead and plug this into my Mac Studio. All right, so here we have our drive. We're gonna go ahead and plug it into my Mac Studio. Again, these are Thunderbolt 4 ports, so we're gonna get the fastest speeds we can from this device. All right, so it looks like the drive is plugged in here. We're gonna go ahead and select it in the Blackmagic Design Speed Test. Now the interesting thing is Quiz Labs website states that you can get 832 megabyte read speeds and 732 a write speeds on an M1 Mac. Now, this is using an M1 Ultra. So we'll see what kind of speeds we get from here. Let's go ahead and start the test. Very nice, 960 write. And 867 read. So it's definitely more than what they stated on the website, which is definitely good. 
and I'm pretty happy with that as far as being 10 gigabit speeds. Now one thing I will let you know, with a lot of use of this drive, it may get warm and even hot, but that's okay because that's how you know that the thermal pad is dissipating the heat inside through the aluminum top here. So definitely not bad at all, and as you can see, it is maintaining these speeds. So I am pretty impressed with this little enclosure. Not only is it super rugged, but it feels really solid and premium, and you know it's going to keep your NVMe drive inside protected at all times. The speed tests were expected and surpassed what the website said, so I'm really happy with that. And you not only can use this with PC or Mac, but you can also use it with Android, or if you have like a Nintendo Switch, or anything else that can accept a USB Type-C, you can use this enclosure with it, so it's very versatile. And again, I will be putting a link in the description in case you guys want to pick this up yourself. And if you guys like me and you want to support my channel, please use those links because it helps me keep purchasing products and reviews to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to let you guys know when I put out new videos. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Later.